Well, as some of you would know, I was fortunate enough to secure a pre-order of the Xbox Series X a couple, couple months ago, actually. In fact, the pre-orders took place a few days before my birthday, so I felt like I had to try. Honestly, if I had to wait till next year to pick up the new console, I would have been fine. I don't think there are enough launch titles to justify rushing into getting one. But I tried, I was successful, and here it is. So, in a short while, we're gonna go and do a quick unboxing. I'll have a guest joining me during the unboxing period. But before we get started, do me a favor and feel free to subscribe if you're new here. If you're already here, you're familiar with my channel, just give me a little bit of like. That's this one, the thumbs up. Don't, don't well, I mean, if you don't like it, you could click the thumbs down, but I would, I would appreciate if you do the thumbs up. Thank you very much, and we're gonna get started now. All right, <laughs> thanks for joining, and thanks for hitting that subscribe link, plus the thumbs up. Um, it's me here, Larry the Diver, um, and I'm gonna be unboxing something, as I've mentioned before, that has nothing to do with scuba diving. This is what I do when, uh, as, a, as a bit of a hobby when I'm not in the water. I play a lot of video games. And my preferred platform is the Microsoft Xbox platform, as you can probably tell. Now today's video, we have a bit of a guest. He's new here, please be nice. And he's going to be a diver with me in a few years. I think in about four or five years, he should be doing his arm. Um, Open water diving certification. Come on in. Say hi. Hello, guys. All right. So this is my nephew, and he's gonna help me with the unboxing process. So you know what we have here? Yes. What do we have? We have we have an Xbox. Yes, we have the Xbox Series X. So I have this thing here that I'm gonna use for for cutting and opening it up. Uh, I could use a dive knife, but I'd rather not. I want to keep the dive knife specifically for being used for its intended purpose. So I'll use this here. And let's see if we can get in. All right. All right, here we go. Love that sound. You like that sound? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is the bottom of the box. We open, we open the wrong side. No, no, but Amazon has it the correct way. So, okay. All right. All right. Here we go. So, Joe, here's what I need you to help me with, right? Yeah. I'm going to take this box out. Yeah. And I want you to take the big box. The, this will be empty. And put it to the side here for me, okay? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Move it. All right. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, um, where where do we open this from? From this side. Now, the thing with the Xbox Series X is that it can be horizontal, it can be vertical. Now, given any space that I have to work with, I'm more than likely going to have it horizontal and not vertical. I know a lot of people say that the vertical is the preferred way given the shape, the orientation of the logo, and the fixed position of the stand um, at what I guess we would call the base. Um, but for me, and given the space that I have, I'm going to leave it horizontal. I'm fine with that. Um, the whole thing with me, I initially wanted to get the, the Series S. And I'll tell you why. I thought the Series S was more, um, it was more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, in addition to that, I am okay with a, digital only console. In fact, with my Xbox One, I probably had about two physical games, maybe three for the most, and they were presents from other people. In the later years of the, the console's life cycle, um, I think I had, like when people want to give me gifts that are video games, I would just ask for the, for the credit, like the, the Microsoft gift cards, and I will use those to, to purchase the console. Okay, so I just cut through the the adhesive there. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. How do we? 
rudeness. <laughs> I'm trying not to damage the box because um, with these devices, you want to ensure that you get um, access to like your full warranty and so on. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Make sure we set it up, we take it out properly. No damage to the box. Exactly, and that's that's very important. Anything that you have on the warranty, you want to ensure that you still have the original packaging. Um, you know, for example, let me just show you something here. When I got my my dive computer recently, the Aqualung i two hundred C, I kept the original box uh, because just in case, you know, I have a warranty. Um, if I have to make use of it, I will. So let's see. Now that have that there. Let's open the. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's open. It's open wow. Wow. Look, this is this is really premium. So they have um this black. Uh, I guess it's like a styro text type styro foam yeah, base like material. Yeah, look. If I'm so small like this, I would have sit in it. <laughs> okay. Well, he, he likes to sit in, in cardboard boxes like all kids. So, um, I'm not sure how recyclable this is, but um, the console is here, and it says, power your dreams. Oh, it's kind of solid. Here we go. Yeah, it is. Let's bring it a little bit closer. It's wrapped in a separate packaging. Power your dreams. Now, in case anybody wants to see my t-shirt, it says control freak. Yeah, and well, Jerry, if you want people to see your t-shirt, you have to come around to the back. And his own has, come this way? Yeah. First alphabet, and we have the buttons on the controller. Okay, give me some room there, please, Jerry. Thank you. All right, now, we know this is the console. We're going to keep this safe. We don't know what else we have in here. Come this way, please, Jerry. All right. So, here we have our... HDMI cables, ultra high speed HDMI cables. Uh, I would recommend that when you get your consoles, if it's a Series X, Series S, or even if you want the PlayStation, if there's, there's nothing wrong with getting different consoles. Try your best to use the cables that come with the with the device. It's uh, useful in terms of um, ensuring that the right um, signals and the right amount of power is being transmitted. Part of the power cable here. Um, Controller. I'm gonna come a little closer with the controller when I take it out. All right. Oh. Oh, it's sweet. Wow. Okay. So it feels. No, wait. You wait. It feels very similar to the regular Xbox One controller. It's matte. It has a, a little grip, and oh. Oh, okay. So the, the trigger buttons have a, a little bit of a um, grip going on there as well. Um, all right. So it's very similar to the, the Xbox One controller. The only real difference, well, at a glance, is the, the D-pad and then the sh uh, share button. Um, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a little difference in the shape here. So how these buttons rest on the surface is a little different because of there's a, a little bit more of a curve here. So if you look at it at a, like straight ahead, you will see that the B button looks like it's a little bit to the side. Um, but this is very comfortable. It fits, fits well in my hands. Um, I open up there, Xbox wireless controller. All right. Yeah, Jerry, you will get to use this soon. Don't worry. You want to hold it? You can hold it. Be very careful. Don't drop it. Design you like this design yeah, like yeah. This design. that's very useful now the, the control pad would have also come with a pair of AA batteries I normally use re rechargeable batteries so you know um, I'll see I'll set up my batteries later on this so here we go um, to the console itself now let's get to the let's identify the base so right the stand is on the bottom there so this should be the top of the console Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, it has that new, new smell. And here's our little logo, our little Xbox logo. Yes, it is. It's a, it's a little different. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tear this paper off. Jer, could you put this in the box for me, please? Yes. Thank you. Here's our new something else. Right. Okay, so let's can take that. Let me bring the console a little bit closer. This is the Series X. Um, it's a bit heavy. Well, not heavy, but solid, you know, I guess, which, which isn't a bad thing. Um, at the bottom here, you see we have the, the, the stand. It has a bit of a rubber foot thing going around. You have some holes here for airflow, some holes to the top here for airflow, and you can see a little green coloring for the, um, for the fan. Uh, and let's look at our input output. So this here is for power. This is our HDMI out. This is for our network cable. Um, we have two USB A ports here and we have a storage expansion. This is for those um, kind of expensive expandable storage cards, right? We also have, storage. yes. And we also have this here, it looks like a, is that a Kensington lock? Yeah, yeah, it's a Kensington lock. Um, I've never used those. Never felt the need to use it. But here we go, we have our console. And let's see what else in, what else in the package here. Um, Some instructions. Yes, we have instructions here on how to go through the setup. It should be pretty straightforward, Gerald. Mm -hmm. Come around this side, please. It's pretty straightforward. We recommend using the app to do the setup, so I'm gonna do that in a short while. Um, there's a bit of a product guide with some warranty information. I would recommend going through it. Most gamers, we've done these things several times. Uh, it's always a good idea to go through manuals. And also, I would suggest going through the box in detail before um, you know putting it in a corner somewhere. Just in case there's anything. If anything happens in the Xbox. No, no, what I was going to say, Jerry, is just in case there's anything inside. Uh, you know that. What we find. Yeah, exactly. So we wanna. Yes. So we want to make sure we find it first, right? Correct. Okay. Yes. All right. So Joe, here's what we're gonna do now. Okay. We are going to take our new Xbox Series X and set it up, and then. And we're gonna test it. Are we gonna test it? Well, no. We can't really. Well, we can test it and things. But there aren't any new games really that I want to play as as yet on the Series X. It's really Maybe mm -hmm. go ahead. Only we can only we can make a video with it sometime. Maybe I could. Maybe I would. Yeah. Come this side. Come here. All right. So let's go say bye -bye, goodbye to everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for, for joining us for this little moment. Me and my nephew. Um, opening up the Xbox Series X. We're going to set it up now and uh, start downloading a couple of games and I guess I'll have no choice but to, you know, I'd want to play something that just came out and they have a version specifically for the Series X. Ideally, I would love to play like my first game there should be um, Cyberpunk, um, but I'm not sure if Cyberpunk is going to meet its release date. So I'll probably end up downloading the new Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Uh, and you know, use that to get things started. Uh, I'm not a, the biggest Assassin's Creed fan, um, so yeah, I'll probably get started with that. Okay, so thank you, folks. Thanks for joining us, um, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.